Okay, let me show you how to get your list of projects from Cricut Design Space into Microsoft Excel where you can organize them how you want. So first thing we need to do is go to our projects list. So we're going to go to File, My Projects. And then once we get over here, we're going to right click and Save Page As. This is how it looks in Firefox. It may be a little different for you. Important thing is under Format, we save it as text and save it somewhere we can find it. Once that's saved, I'm going to find that file. I'm going to drag and drop it onto Microsoft Excel. It's going to ask me if I really want to open that. I'm going to tell it I do. And then we're going to see some stuff that doesn't look uh, recognizable, but that's not a problem because we're going to filter everything that we need and get rid of the rest. So we're going to select this column column A, and then we're going to go to Data, Filter, and when I do that I'll get a little triangle here, so I'll click that triangle, and then under Choose One I'm going to click Contains, and then I'm going to type slash canvas slash. As I do that you'll see the, the text behind it starting to filter out, and now I've got the name of my file and the URL of my file, but it's all in one column. I want to get it into two columns. So I'm going to copy that to a new sheet. Just so I don't have to worry about all that data we didn't want. And then I'm going to do some text manipulation to make it easier to break into columns. So I'm going to go to Edit, Replace, and I'm going to type space, less than symbol, and then I'm going to type semicolon, less than symbol. And what that's going to do is everywhere that it finds the beginning of a URL, it's going to put a semicolon, semicolon in there, which you'll see why it's important in a minute. So I'm going to tell it to replace all. It's replaced 117 instances. That's how many files I have. I'm going to close that. Now I'm going to tell it under data go to text to columns. I want to leave this on delimited and click next. And then I want to check semicolon. And here it's going to show me a preview of what the columns look like. That looks correct. So I'm going to click next and then I'm going to finish and it's going to use that semicolon to break the columns and now I have my list in two columns with the t the title that I gave it originally and the URL in the in the other column and now I can add my own columns for categories or author or whatever I want I can easily alphabetize this however I want because now it's like a database in Excel instead of just what we had in Cricut Design Space. So that's all there is to it. I know there's a lot of steps. I'll write them down for you. If I was really good in Excel, I would make a macro to do this, but my attempts at that failed, so just thought I'd show you instead. So hope this helps some of you. Thanks for watching.